why do we make uh, a concept around Handel and the harp? It's because uh, Handel was an important composer for that instrument in the Baroque period. The harp is a kind of rare musical instrument in any time. And in the Baroque period, at the beginning of the 17th century, Monteverdi wrote a very famous harp part in his Orfeo. And then the next most famous piece is the Handel Harp Concerto. And uh, we began thinking about Handel's particular connection to the harp uh, because he was writing for the harp all his life. Well, these would be the two harps that Handel would have known in his, in his time. They're both Baroque harps, although they're very different from each other. This is an, it uh, an Italian triple harp, um, which came to England from France, but it originated in Italy. And it has three rows of strings, which is needed for a lot of uh, the obligato pieces. It's very necessary for Esther to have a triple harp. The triple harp has got three rows of strings. The two outer rows are diatonic and often tuned the same way. The inside row, which you can get in between the two, are the chromatics, like the black notes of a piano. And the outside rows are like the white notes of the piano. Two row harp or a one row harp, it would not be possible to actually play those notes. So you'd need a triple harp. The same thing for the Handel Harp Concerto. Um, but for other pieces, it's very possible to use something like the, the German harp, which he would have known from his years in Germany. The German harp has two rows of strings. From the top half for the right hand, we have the diatonic notes, the white notes of the piano on the right hand side, and you would reach inside to get your chromatic notes, the black notes of the piano. And the opposite for the left hand, the left hand has the diatonic notes here, and you reach inside for the chromatics that way. And both of these harps are very different to the modern concert harp because it has no pedals, therefore it has the two or three rows of strings. And a very, very different sound quality. It's much more round and warm. And those are the two kinds of harps he would have known. pictorial representations of Handel, especially on the frontispieces to his publications, he's pictured with a harp or a harp player, which made us think that there was some special rapport he had with that instrument. Um, he's not known to have played the harp, but he certainly thought of it as a powerful symbol of the power of music, and he used it that way 
time and time again. When he employed it for the uh, special orchestra of Cleopatra, when she's seducing Giulio Cesare in the opera of that name, uh, the harp is a symbol of her seductive powers. Um, in Esther, it's part of the uh, religious power of, of belief. And uh, in the Alexander's Feast, when the orchestra plays the harp concerto between uh, movements, it's there to represent the, the, the pure power of music in our lives. Mm -hmm. 